Hello everybody, this is Randy, Kilo November 4, Yankee Bravo Alpha. Uh, been a while since I've been on here demoing a uh, ham radio mod. Uh, the latest and greatest uh, is the old uh, Maritron RCS-10. Um, of course, you go back and see the videos of my mods to a USB interface. I'm using it predominantly for flex radio. But I've added Arduino, Arduino um, LCD. Uh, instead of the LEDs that I had before so I still kind of pulled up the old package um, I'm gonna run through the slides real quick um, this just adds this recent mod for the antenna selector box and adding LCD everything's the same as the previous video if you have any questions go back and look at it I've got all this in there the set up the relays um, here's my USB relay here's my uh, board for the uh, uh, relay board I, I built here's the solid state switch for the antenna and here's a configuration of everything as in the uh, previous video uh, nothing really changed here uh, everything stayed the same um, until you get down here uh, Arduino. and this is where I started adding the uh, the I will the nano um, all of them work um, this is what I actually installed inside the box. It's small, works perfectly. I didn't know how to, for sure to pull a ground. Couldn't use the uh, USB relay. They were 12 volts. I needed just ground. So I bought these um, um, mini relays, micro relays. They're really cheap and they blow power. And I just, I just, whenever a relay closes, it just puts put the ground onto a pin on the Arduino. Um, Anyways, bought this from Amazon. I think I got three of them there for 19 bucks. So I got the 10 relays for 11 bucks. Um, of course, um, they say that you can run the Arduino off of 12 volts. I just not real sure. I went ahead and bought a buck converter module. Uh, I got several of them. I got six for 10 bucks. So I just wired it in. Um, here's the uh, I like this. This is the fire. I had some two line, but I went four line. But I ordered the wrong one. I ordered the green background. I really wanted the blue, so I'm gonna order those. Um, and of course, these wires always come in handy when you're pro working projects. So essentially, what I did is I built this relay board. Uh, it's piggyback on top of the uh, um, USB relays. Uh, and essentially, whenever I energize uh, number one relay on the board, USB board, it powers this one up. And all I'm doing is giving a ground that's going to, for example, um, and I didn't put them all here, but like number eight, uh, it goes to pin 12 on the Arduino, um, giving it a ground. And I'll go through that in a little bit. But essentially all that board is, whenever I select an antenna, it gives a ground to a pin. Um, I used the same um, um, bus that I had built before. I just had all the other pins for expansion. I just plugged it into there. So, for example, whenever uh, relay uh, number one on the USB was energized, it's in power to my micro relay to give it the ground. Um, here's a better call out here. Um, and each pin, uh, this is pin 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. To the Arduino board, um, actually, yes, to the to the Nano is where it goes to, but it just provides a ground, and you'll see that in a little bit. Um, here's a little bit of a blow up of the Nano, um, and what I do is um, I use the VC VIN coming in 12 volts from my. Uh, actually, I use 5 volts coming in here. Uh, off the uh, buck converter and then here ground for the ITC2 that's the LCD um, here's 5 volts for the um, I2C uh, LCD uh, the pins that pulled the signal are A5 and A4 for SEL and SDA and I call out the, the uh, A5 is for switch 1 on the relays it's for 160 meters all the way down to number 8 I have no antenna hooked up to um, and here's kind of a setup of the flex radio just to show you how I set it up so um, essentially 
um, yeah, I'm not a software guy, and I have to do a lot of reading, a lot of copying, just changing things around. But essentially, you know, using the Arduino version 1.8.19, uh, you have to go in and download the uh, Liquid Crystal uh, I2C um, and some of the coding I put in there. But essentially, here's for pin one is for relay eight and working all the way down to 12, which is relay one. Set the background, backlighting, um, digital pin 13 low, and I do the serial at 11.5200. Uh, you know, I'm not an expert to software stuff. I had to do a lot of finagling with it, a lot of trial and error. And that's what's cool about this. You know, I've got a couple boards that I can practice on those until I come up with it. So I'm looking into code to, um, uh, to turn the switch. For example, when it's looking for a ground on a pin, right? If pin 5 sees a ground, it will display the 160 uh, meter message I hear connected. In it. I have can 4 yba I uh, got four lines on the LCD, connected one, 160, antenna number one. One thing I've yet to do is, and I wait, you know, this wonderful world we live in, Biden's world, I call it, it takes, you know, the two day delivery from Amazon now takes a week, week and a half. So I'm waiting for a uh, clock module. I've ordered one of those. I ordered a bunch of them. They're relatively cheap. And I'm going to code it in here. My, my intent is, as you see uh, down here, the, the, uh, this is an actual display of the LCD. I hate that green background. But I have local time. And I'm going to put it in Zulu, so it's going to show up there. Um, so I'm excited about that. That's something I'm going to add to this. It's mostly just, I got a couple pins to pl plug into the uh, Arduino, but uh, the Nano, but uh, most of it will just be a little bit extra coding to it. And I'll, I'll have to trial and error that, but that's what's going to be cool about that. Um, one other thing to add, um, I added the while in there, and it, it took it took a while to figure this out. But I added the while in there. What it what it kind of does is before this worked fine, but generally on the last two lines of text, it it have a flash, and it really depends on what your delay was set up to it. I had it set up to two seconds, so every two seconds it flashed. But what it's doing is going back and reading the pen over and over and over and over. So what this kind of does, it says, okay, check it, and just move on, right? It doesn't say keep rolling through the whole thing real quick it just slows it out so it doesn't i don't have a flash anymore so that was kind of took me the weekend to figure that out but i'm very pleased with this um so what it does it looks at this a pin if it's, it doesn't see a ground you know it just goes down and moves to the next one it's not keep cycling and that's what eliminated my uh flashing of my uh, uh letters um and what I did is, here is uh, at the end, right, after I go through all eight switches, I added a um, um, check for high. And I just look at I just look at uh, relay number one. If no ground there, that's all I needed. And it comes up the message you see right now. I don't have it uh, relay closed. Uh, no relay closed, check USB. So... Um, the demo here, and you know, I don't have it hooked up my Flex right now. I just took it off, but I went ahead and installed the uh, Relay Board Manager to check it out. But essentially, what it is here is uh, a chick click on 160 meters, and bam, it pops up to 160 meters. I like that. 80 meters, it pops up. It's going to say, "Hey, you're on 80 meters." Um, 40 meters, okay, we're on 40 meters. Antenna number three. Um, there we go to 20 meters. Uh, antenna number four, uh, antenna number five, I got 17 and down to 12 meters on that band antenna. Um, the next antenna number six, I've got 10 meters down to six meters. It's an inverted V, um, but it tunes in fine. Uh, then I also have a uh, six meter vertical that I have sitting up in the attic as well, and it, it works great. Um, and then here I, I don't have an antenna. So essentially that was the demo. Um, I'm very pleased with this. Now I'm going to change out the screen, uh, the LCD to a blue background, white letters. I think it'll be much nicer, but it interfaces well with my uh, flex radio. I'm very pleased with it. Took a little time to, to learn how to code it. And it took me a couple of weeks actually, probably just playing with it. 
but uh, it works it works out well um, like I said I still got to add the uh, clock module into it to give me the local time I think if I figure it out I'm gonna put it local time zoo or at least put Zulu time instead of local time that's probably one thing I'll change on it but try to set it up to Zulu I always can always can look up and see what uh, local time is on my wall clock but uh, I'm always trying to guess Zulu so it's right here for me Anyways, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to send me an email at admin at kn4yba.com. Um, if you enjoy it, just send me a message. If you have any questions, just send me a message. Anyways, uh, 73 is to you. Have a great day. This is KN4YBA signing off.